In this screencast I'm going through how you can add a map with root to 3D Rerun. Uh, maps to be added with root to 3D Rerun have to be exported as a JPEG file from QuickRoot. So what I'll now do is to open up QuickRoot and uh, adjust a root from uh, a race from uh, last Wednesday. Then I will upload the map to uh, 3D Rerun and I will show you that uh, everything works as it should. So uh, I first open up QuickRoot. I make a new file. I find the uh, map on uh, from the scanner. I just scan it now. I read in from uh, my foreigner watch the uh, GPS routes. That takes a little bit of time. When uh, we finished reading the GPS route, we will choose the one from May 25th and uh, continue with adjusting the map. Let's wait a little bit now. There we are, May 25th. Okay. So here is the map, and uh, we also have a route here, which is, of course, completely offset. What's important when we adjust a route in uh, in 3D re uh, in quick route for use in uh, 3D rerun is that we only use two points for calibration. If you use a lot of points, the map will be offset in 3D rerun and we will get problems. So uh, in order to get it as ac accurate as possible, we go down to 50% here. Then we choose one point at uh, which we are quite sure that we were. We take this point at the third control. I adjust it here as, uh, as well as I can to the control. Then I take another point which is uh, the finish. I adjust that down here. Okay, it looks like we have a fairly good match here. You see here the match isn't good enough, so instead of taking a point here now, I go up again to this point and I adjust it until we have a good match down at the road. So you can see now there is a good match all the way here from the start, up the road, all the way up to the third control. We have a bad match here, but that's probably because the control is wrong, or the map is wrong around the control because we see here we have a good match all the way over to the finish. You can maybe adjust it a little bit in order to uh, have a better fit just at uh, this path here. So no, now uh, I say that this is okay, we can go into 100% and see that it really fits. This, uh, this looks good, I'm satisfied except for this control and of course my mistake here on a third control. Uh, yes, th this looks good. So what we do now is to take the transparency of the line down to zero. Now we have the root in the map when we export it, but we have no root on the map. So if we say export now as an image, I export this as uh, take it in my download catalog and I export it as uh, Bedrift Milde JPEG. So that's fine, we can now import it in 3D Rerun. Okay, close down Quick Root, go to Add Map with Root in 3D Rerun. You need to log in to upload maps, so I log in with my user, Jan Kotz. Now I w want to upload a map from my local computer. I choose the file and this is the download Bedrift Milde and I say upload and it takes a little bit of time. We just wait for that. Here we are. Competition name Bedrift Slip Milde, 25th of May, Jan Kotzbach, and uh, we want this map to be open. 
the private option is uh, only for a very selected case of of users so uh, you don't have that in your pretty rerun probably so I say submit map and there we are I can now click here to access the map in 3D rerun and there we are we have the map we have me we can start here and uh, follow camera and everything looks nice here okay just to finish off this as this is the first time I look at it I want to see how big my mistake at the third control was so uh, I came over here take off the camera following this doesn't look good at all so what I usually do if I want to find the size of a mistake I will add one point here and add one point there and uh, I can then see how much time I used from this point to this point so it's 3 minutes 23 seconds from this point to this point and that's a lot more than it should have been so I'd say the mistake is probably around 2 minutes if we look at another point from here to here that's 123 so it shouldn't be one more than one minute here as well okay so that was it it looked like everything worked fine we can go somewhere else here as well we can see that it works here as well no problems we have the map here and we can watch ourselves into the rerun just one additional thing we can see if there are other routes in the vicinity in the same uh, course okay here we have my little dumb that might be the same course I'm not sure if she ran the same course as I did we can open her map and it looks like this is another course this is the C course but uh, still we had the same part here from number one so uh, we can try to see, compare ourselves just on the road here because we had the same control here and as you can see as I was walking she was faster than me I cut through here maybe it's faster to cut through there so you see that even if we had not the same course we can compare ourselves and you can see that the root choice going through, he through here was better than going around here and there is also another one here it's probably the same race but it's again a different course this is the longer course so let's see if there are some controls which are the same here the first control is different here everything is different uh, okay the, not from number 10 to 11 we have the same so let's compare ourselves from 10 to 11 from number 10 here to number 11 here all three of us actually had the same course and we see the times here 137 for Chetel Dam, 218 for Jan Kotzbach, 244 for My Little Dam. We can also go in here now and uh, do an animation from here. I have to go into the analysis tools and remove all lines here. Remove that again. And then we can start ourselves from here, a bit slower maybe. I got off with a bad start. And it looks like there is a little bit of inaccuracy in the map because we probably were not through that forbidden area. Okay, that was a short demonstration of how you can add your own map using QuickRoot and uploading it to 3D Rerun.
10 minutes all in all and this was the first time I did it with uh, this particular map. Thank you for follow following and uh, please ask if you have any questions about 3D Rerun.